Try something new every day. Okay, we can't physically try something new every single day of our lives. But no one ever laid down at night and said, Darn, I wish I didn't learn that skill today. Actually, no, they, they probably have. But my point is, given the opportunity to learn a new skill or to try something new, take it. Who knows? You might even be good at it. Well, this is a stupid predicament. I was trying to get a cool opening drone shot with the um, drone. Well, my firefly served its purpose, but uh, I think it's royally stopped. My neighbor is looking quite comically at me, and probably rightfully so. That stupid drone is never coming down. I mean, it's way too early to try to shoot it down or something. <clears throat> Gosh dang it. This thing has an auto lift off device, which is not going to allow me to just rev it and see if it comes loose. Dang it. Much, much, much later. Yes! Looks like we finally got it down. It took me about 20 minutes of awkwardly revving and trying different things. Eventually, I moved the canter so it could rev harder and it just fell down on its own. Well, it looks like I'm not getting the shot I wanted, but, ow, it's a comical opening nonetheless. I'm going to leave before my neighbor freaks out because he's wondering what I'm doing. I'm actually wondering what I'm doing, but today, I um, might as well explain what we're doing today. We are going back to that range. I'm not sure how much of that was in the actual vlog before, but it's not a vlog. It's not a vlog. So we were going back to that range to shoot some guns. Um, I thought I'd get a cool shot. It's raining anyway. There's too much wind. It doesn't look like it, but drones. You know how they were. So yeah, we're going to take, go to the range on this cold April morning, almost May. At the same time last year, trees were in full bud. Here, we had our AC units and everything. It was like scalding hot. And here, I'm freezing my tail off and losing drones. So yeah, I'm going to take you, future me, whoever is watching, you guys along. Future memories, while we go shoot the guns and let's hope that I have better luck with the guns than I had with this drone. And in order not to make it creepy, I found, I found a way to hook up my um, camera to my hearing protection, which I put in here. So it's just sitting on my ear, ear so it's not as, so some guys don't have to hold it. Oh, really? I see you got it down, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I lost my, <laughs> yeah, the drone got stuck up there. Okay, yeah, yeah, everything's, this is kind of a basin, okay? I flew up and then the drone spun and I thought I was going this way and I actually it was inverted because it turned away, so it pulled left. I had to go up to avoid that tree and then when I went up, a gust of wind because right above this it was had high wind it feels still but above and it pulled it right into the tree and i was like that specific model that you have who, who, rock island armory's 1911 is supposedly um they say most 1911s the expensive thousand dollar ones they mm. say it can take a thousand shots before they break in yeah they say the rock island armory should break in in under 500 shots yep. so they said that some malfunctions might be expected yeah um, also, fun the fact I found out, the Rock Island Armory 1911 that you have is the reason they're so cheap, but they're of nice quality, is because they bought the same machines that they used to mill the Colt 1911s on in World War II. They bought the same machines. Shut up, Wesley! So, we're shooting his guns, not mine. I don't own any. I own a crossbow. No guns. He recently inherited 12 rifles, and he owns four handguns, and he has like one other one on layaway. So today, we're gonna shoot his four handguns. Uh, he invited me along. I said, of course, yes. Anyway, so right now he's grabbing a cup of coffee at some dive, and um, I'm just waiting here. I do not drink coffee. I don't like to poison myself, so. Let's see what happens. So right now I have this ear pro with I've made this janky GoPro setup on it. Hopefully it'll be a complete dork. Yeah. So next stop should be the firearms place. I can't remember the name.
earplugs plus a headset. Sure, some people may laugh at double hearing protection, but at the end of the day, I'd rather protect my hearing for a lifetime than my ego for an afternoon. The dude I'm shooting with shot 30 cows when he was my age with no hearing protection at all. He opts to go with just the earplugs. I'm skeptical on his decision, but he's been doing this a lot longer than me. This will be my first time shooting handguns. We'll be running a total of four pieces today, chambered in 22 long rifle, 380, 9mm, and 45. Starting with the 22, he takes a few shots before passing the tool to me. I'm kinda hoping no one will notice this gigantic camera strapped to my head. Maybe they'll think it's a rangefinder or something. I mean, this is a range, and we had to find this place somewhere, right? A new gun has a breaking period. My mom's gun here hasn't seen use, but a failure right out of the gate worries me. Yeah, that's definitely an ammo issue. Now. I bet I'm limp for a sand. There's a thousand things that can go wrong with a handgun, but sometimes it's just about finding a type of ammo that your gun likes. Wait, let me see a 22. I haven't held 22. Yeah, that's pretty loud. I'm, that's why I told you. You met when I think of double hearing protection. Always look there. You know, when you want to check and see if it's one chamber. But hold it like this. So no more like than this. a 45 degree angle. Right. Keep Just it like hold that. It right. That way it's away from everybody. All right. And oh. you. Yeah, don't look down the there. Yeah, don't go. Yeah, looks like one there. Ready? You're on safe. I think this was Remington ammo. It runs a lot smoother than the stuff we were using before. I have read countless manuals on firearms, but it's amazing just how much faster you learn out in the field. Hey, theory. Look at the striker. The striker has been hitting the very top of all of them. Right. That one will. So is that because of the gun's model? I thought 22 shot in the center. Oh, that's why they call it center fire. Ha ha, and I caught it on the film, that moment of realization. That's why they call it rim fire. Ah, oh, embarrassing, I never knew that. I always thought it still struck at the center and the percussive force fired the rim. So that's why, the, okay, okay. So wait, like a bolt action rim fire, like an old fashioned, do they do the same thing? Wow. Okay, shows what I know. <laughs> You got three in a row in the exact same place. Did you see that? <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> 22s are fun. Let's step it up to the 380. That was a lot louder. I guess it's a short barrel. Okay, now I've been warned that tinier guns are less accurate because they're just as precise but they're less accurate because um uh, the, the the user can't get as good a grip of them so i'm being unprepared to miss my ego is not on the line now i've actually been told this is safer to load a mag like this facing towards you because the bullet's not going to go in the shell is going to be what's going which it feels kind of productive it feels like you're pointing the shut game. up wesley Is it double action? Because it has a really stiff trigger. <laughs> okay. So it shoots its, its slightest bit high. This little gun is surprising. It's actually a lot harder to manage the recoil than I expected. A 380 is a lot of fun. Let's step it up to a 9mm. I weigh a buck thirty soaking wet, and even a tiny little nine millimeter tried to throw me around. 
Well, I'm, I have precision, but not accuracy. Ow, that hit me in the head. One of the bad things about filming yourself shoot is that you can see all of your mistakes. One of the good things about filming yourself shoot is you can see all of your mistakes. All right, let's hit it. All right, one more set. Center, bottom square of the bottom set on the left side. Meh, I can live with that. 9mm is a lot of fun. There's a romance to the American classic, 1911, and its native round, 45 auto. Holy crap! Wait, 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 holy, holy crap. I've never held one of these before. The heck. The absolute heck. I like physics. Speed, mass, and bullet design are all interesting topics, but no one can deny the 45 is fun to shoot. I like history, and the history behind the 45 was relevant to my heritage, so I decided that I wanted to keep my first 45 ever shot. Okay. Surprise fire, I didn't know it was gonna fire. I haven't run And there it is, my first 45 shell. Take that, Chickle Gruber! One thing I noticed, it's much quieter than I thought. In fact, I would say it's about as loud as a 9mm. It's a different sound, but it's really the same. It all must be quieter. Um, I honestly think the 380 might be louder than the 9mm and maybe the 45. I know Because I think it's a short barrel. Let's shake things up. This is a handgun. Let's try it one handed. If I could even hit. If I can blame within one foot of my I'll count as a win. That was horrible. Wait, wait, did you see that? I hit it within one inch. I always wondered what would happen if some dumb butt missed and hit the rails that these targets ride along. I'm sure it's happened. Pretty funny. Are these, okay, are these the 45s? No, no, this is the flyer. That's the 45. That's you. This is my side. This is your side. No, wait, I, I didn't hit that close, did I? Yeah, you did. You I did? Shot, yeah, dude, you shot that, you said you were shooting at the left one. That's where we hit. I shot at the right one, and that's where I hit. This is your shot, so this is mine. I, I, I thought that was your shot. No, that's yours. Oh, wow. No. I thought this was my closest. That's why I said a while ago, I said, well, we've hit, we hit just about the same. You were up, and I'm just to the side. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. I thought I thought this is my closest. No. And I thought you got both of these, and I was like, you're sick. And I was like, no, no, no we actually did really good. I got that one, I got this one. Okay, and I hit the seven, like I said, right. so that's my important. I had to hit the right seven. Thursday. I am an extremely self-deprecating person, but for my first grouping ever with a handgun, I guess it was okay. So I've completely lost count of how many shots I've taken now. For the heck of it, I went back and counted. I've now shot a total of 68 rounds in my life. Most of them today. Before this morning, I had never fired a handgun in my life. I had read a lot of manuals and seen a lot of diagrams on firearms. Like most skills, preparation is important. It's how I learned my gun safety before I even held a gun. But when learning a new skill, there's nothing quite like holding it in your paw. So that was a blast. I was not precise, but I was accurate. There's a difference. Precision is how tight your grouping is, and accuracy is how close to the center of the market is. All in all, I seriously had fun. That was my first 45, and I kept the brass if I can find it. I kept the brass of the 45. I'm not gonna point around because I don't want to scare people to see a ground or something, but. So yeah, we got to finally shoot those.
gunpowder all over my hands. Hair smells of gunpowder and stuff, but that was some serious fun. The camera burnt out as we were talking to that dude at the desk. He notices, he's like, hey, GoPro. And I'm like, yeah. I was hoping you wouldn't notice that. It's kind of cringy talking to a GoPro. But at this point, if things turn out in my life the way I want them, before too long, I'm gonna be going to school. And I'll never see any of these people again. So I can talk to a camera all I want. And they look at me weird, but you know what? That is life. That is life. Okay. I guess in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to learn some skills. But nature is not perfect. And animals need their teeth and claws to defend themselves and their young. And we, at the end of the day, are animals. Because we're furries. No, no. I guess I could rant on that. But the point is, if you're learning something new, whether it be a skill you need, a skill you want, or just something new that you want to experience, life is really, really short. If you're given the opportunity, take it. Every day, if you can, try something new.